Hi and welcome back with another tutorial series. In this series we will be looking at how we can import and export meshes from the rest to other softwares and how we can import uh, from uh, other softwares to ZBrush and back and forth. So let's open this uh, demo soldier Z project and uh, so uh, there are many ways to uh, import and export meshes from ZBrush. Uh, we can just uh, go to here and click on this export which will be exporting a single subtool. For example if I click and uh, demo soldier opj. So this will uh, this uh, export will only be exporting a single subtool. For example if I click uh, on this and click on export then uh, it will only export this vest and uh, this won't be able to export uh, multiple objects or multiple subtools and there are some settings here like if we move down to the end we have this export tab for example if there was some texture applied to this uh, model uh, then if i if we want to export it though that texture as well then we could have selected this uh, texture and uh, there are other things that we want the uv coordinates to be merged or not if we want to export those and there is also export subgroups for example because this one has multiple polygroups so if the groups are selected then it will export the groups as well so let's check it up in maya so here i have maya open and let's see demo sold yeah so there we have so because we exported this model with polygroups you can see that we are getting multiple meshes and uh, the uv coordinates are not merged as well so uh, i don't like to export uh, groups with it so what i can do is i can just uh, uncheck this group and uh, just export it again and let's see how that looks in maya so if i export it again and so now there are just two meshes in this and uh, let's see yeah because these other meshes might not be welded in zbrush so i can just delete those meshes so you can uh, let's tweak it up again so if i just tweak it like this or more it's let's just tweak it let's export it export selection demo fold okay so let's ha so we can uh, just import into this model for example if i click import and uh, if i click on this object again you can see that uh, this has uh, replaced our previous model so while importing it is uh, very important that you shouldn't import into uh, your already placed meshes for example if i want a separate object for the imported mesh i can just append a dummy uh, subtool which is the polystyric select the uh, subtool and click on import again and now I'll, i have uh, imported this subtool into uh, the polystyric mesh. So polystyric is just a dummy subtool uh, which is used for importing or exporting uh, for importing meshes into it. So we looked, we have looked at how we can uh, import and export a single subtool. But if I want to export multiple subtools, so we can do that by going to the C plugin tab and click on this export, and we can select. Uh, all these things from here that uh, whether we want the mask to be exported we we want the mask to be cleared or not show hidden points so if the mesh is half visible or some points are hidden whether we would like to uh, those to be exported as well single polygroup for each subtool yeah i want single group polygroups right now turn off creasing so if there are creases uh, on your subtool that you want to be exported you should uh, 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 uncheck it uh, which is uh, exactly the case right now so export to folders I don't want to export these two folders and I want a single file for this so if I click on OK and click on this right now so you can see this it is exporting all those meshes so let's check it up in Maya so here we can just import those meshes so so demo soldier let's see 
So we have our demo soldier here and uh, there are some issues which is not because of uh, the wrong export it is because of the back face culling so if i check back face culling here you can see that the issues are gone so uh, in this way you can export uh, multiple uh, objects from zbrush so if i want to uh, import uh, multiple objects for example we have i changed this shirt in maya and I change this shirt in Maya as well and like this so if I want these two uh, to be for example let's export this one export selection temp1 and temp2 so we can import this by clicking on uh, we can multi append or multi insert so uh, multi append will uh, place imported meshes at the end of the list and multi insert will uh, insert meshes below your current sub goal for example if i uh, click this multi insert right now and select this temp1 temp2 object you can see that both of the objects have been imported that we change in in maya so this is how you can import multiple uh, OBJs or export uh, multiple subtools. So, uh, so we can also uh, do this with the XP, FBX file file format. So, for example, if I have this, uh, I want to export all of this in FBX. We can do this by we can do import or export through this. But for the FBX, let me show you. Let me give you an example. So let's see we have this shirt and we want to let's delete the objects from here. So if I want to export this as a FPX file format, so export selection, go select FPX from here. So in order to import FPX, you can import it from here, temp1 FPX okay so this is so that for the fpx it won't uh, place it in the same z2 it will place in the in a separate z2 so you can import the fpx from here as well so if you click on import you can just select this stamp and it will create another z2 so we have multiple z tool for this shirt and if i want to export uh, this into an FPX, all of the sub tools into FPX. So we can just do that. We can select uh, here. We have uh, if select is checked here, then it will only export this single sub tool. For example, if I click export right now, temp one, and see that in Maya. So let's delete all these meshes. So you can see that the FPX has exported a single sub tool right now. So, for example, if I have multiple meshes visible at the time, so I just want these four meshes to be exported, I can just click on this uh, visible tab and then it will export all the visible sub tools. For example, if I export it right now, temp1. And let's open Maya. Let's delete this one and uh, let's import this one. So you can see that uh, now uh, only the visible subtools uh, were exported. So if you want to export all the subtools, uh, we can just uh, visible all, or you can just check this all from here and it will export all of these uh, subtools. There is also one more settings which is. Uh, what should be the file format uh, what like because fpx uh, have multiple plugins uh, according to the year so you can just select this uh, change this from here if you want a very specific fpx file format for example if you want to import in maya 16 if you're using maya 15 or 14 you should then export it according to uh, the current maya version you are using there is also settings here for the binary and ascii but i use binary all the time we also have uh, layers for example let me show you so if we go to the geometry tab let's delete this let's go to our layer tab so let's create a new layer 
and let's change it to let's hide this thing so now that we have a layer you can see that you can see the face changing so if I want uh, this uh, layer to be exported uh, as a blend shape or something that I can use for facial expression later, I can just let's isolate this up. See plugin, go to the with select visible, and I want the layers to be exported as well. So I can just click on export M1, and uh, now all the layers will be exported. So. You can see that we have this hidden mesh which is our blend shape which can be used as a blend shape so if I apply the same material which is Lambert one click on the pore shading mesh display unlock normals yeah so you can see that the face is different on both of these meshes here so we have we can use this as a blend shape this shape editor. yeah we can just use this as a blend shape for example if i we already have a blend shape added you can see that this here was added as a blend shape here in maya you can see that so it is very important when you are working on expressions and uh, working on facial features and if you want those facial features to be added as a blend shape in maya or some uh, other tool you can export those by clicking on this uh, layer tab you usually uh, make uh, expression on these layers uh, we will be covering this layer tab and the morph target how to add a morph target later on in detail so let's leave it for now so there is also this thing uh, this try check uh, check we can just uh, check it up and it will convert all the pulleys into tries and export it for example if i export it now so let's delete this one and let's import it so it will be triangulated you can see that right now it's triangulated and we because uh, we have layers checked on while exported exporting so we have uh, this blend shape added on the triangulated mesh as well which is super useful for the game models so you don't have to worry about converting it into the tries and you can just add blend shapes from zbrush and export it into in, in maya so super useful uh, this plugin fbx plugin is super useful and we also have these uh, embed maps for example so let's add some subdivisions BPA. So let's add some poly paint on it as well. So, so let's do this. Yeah. And let's convert this into a texture. So if I want this to be converted into texture, poly paint, poly paint from texture, poly paint from not poly group. So. Yeah, if we go to texture and yeah, maybe I'm forgetting the settings. So there was something. Um, no. Yes, yeah, so right now this doesn't have any UVs. So let me just unfold it up. Let me do do the UVs. So let's go to the so lower subdivision levels. Let's select the poly groups here. Unwrap it as well. So, so if I click, uh, we have some polypaint information here right now. And if I click new from polypaint, so it has created a texture map and you can see that it is here. So if I want this texture to be exported along with the FBX file, so and I want the texture to be embedded in my FBX. I can just uh, select this embed maps here and export the file. And you can see that my texture will be imported along with uh, this. So if I click on import, let's just drag and drop. So you can see that uh, if I 
so here is the texture the same texture has been exported and we have the uvs as well so let me just darken it up a little so we can see the uvs or maybe just hide so you can see that the uvs were exported with it as well and we have the texture information here as well so this is very useful that you can convert uh, so that if you have some texture information on your model you can just export it uh, with uh, in the fbx uh, but this is not the baking so we will be covering baking uh, later on uh, through this uh, multi-map exporter which is uh, here this one we will be baking displacement map vector displacement normal polypaint ao cavity all those maps if you want to bake uh, your character in zbrush uh, but for the game models if you have time i would highly recommend you baking it uh, in marmoser tool bag and texturing it into substance substance printer i will be making a tutorial series for those as well so so we have uh, also we can just provide the format for example the texture i exported will be here so the texture is here we have this texture uh, that we painted onto our character and we exported it up here so right now it's in the png format you can see that dot png written here so if we want it in a tiff and 16-bit uh, format we can just select it from here so that is also very important we have also have multiple options for exporting so we can just click on this option for example uh, if we want to export the smoothing levels like the subdivision levels we can export those as well we can export with the, the poly groups as materials uh, so let's undo the texture from here let's undo the poly paint and let's uncheck this embed maps and uh, we can just export these poly groups as materials and we can also export them as a selection sets so let's export this export this one as a materials and let's import it in maya just click this you see and import it in maya So you can see that the let's see how many materials do we have so you can see that we have multiple materials here right now for each of our polygroups so let's check so if i select objects with this material you can see that this polygroup here that we have in zbrush was exported this one this pink one so and if I select objects with this material, so you can see that this polygroup was also exported. So it is very important that uh, whatever you want, you can uh, export this from ZBrush to Maya as a polygroup, as a material, as a selection set, as a texture. So almost everything can be exported. Like you can see that we have exported blend shapes as well. And uh, Sometimes I use FX for for the final uh, export like if I'm uh, exporting all the high meshes along with the vertex color as well Yeah, so I forgot to tell you that uh, even if you don't have the texture and you want to bake your ID maps you can just export your uh, Character uh, with the poly paint that you have applied for example this time. I won't be uh, making texture from it so I know it's just saying that mesh has deformation layer. Let's okay delete this layer. Yeah, and let's paint something. BPA. Just wanted to give you an example how we can export vertex color as well. So if I want this to be exported, so right now it's at 2.8 million. So let's reduce this to yeah, 130 would be okay. So let's delete the higher subdivisions and lower as well. So if I want to export, so there is no check. You can you cannot see any check written here for 
uh, exporting uh, vertex color but uh, the vertex colors are exported uh, as uh, by default so if I export this one right now right now you can see that there is no texture applied here and uh, I cannot uh, see the vertex color so if I go to mesh display and uh, toggle, toggle display color attributes and you can see that I am still not able to see my mesh colors yeah they are there so these are not in the texture you can see these are the vertex paint or the vertex colors so you can uh, just uh, you don't need to uh, convert it into a texture you can just export it as a vertex color and import those in Maya and when you're baking that in Marmoset tool bag uh, you can use those uh, vertex color as an ID map later on so that's how I use the import and export uh, in C++ thanks for watching see you in the next video